Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Insane Men. This is Supreeta. If you guys are new here, hi. I'm a recent medical graduate and I graduated from BGS Medical College, Bangalore, India. And I'm currently on my USMLE journey and I'm preparing for my Step 1 exams. And in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how to study for your Step 1 exams as an IMG. So basically your step one prep can be divided into two major timelines. The first one is going to be your pre-dedicated period and the second one is going to be your dedicated period. So in your pre-dedicated period what you're going to do is basically learning the subjects and learning the topics and consolidating your knowledge so that you have laid down a foundation which you can use in your dedicated period to start solving questions to prepare well for your exams. So in your pre dedicated period you have various resources that you can use especially video resources like bootcamp, BNB, Pathoma, Sketchy Micro, Sketchy Pharma and question bank resources like TrueLearn and UWorld that you can use to consolidate your concepts. In your dedicated period you have resources like uh, question banks like TrueLearn and UWorld and tests like NBMEs and free 120s that you can use to make sure that you're giving tests which is going to help you predict how well you'll do in your step one exams right so if you guys want i can make a detailed video about all the resources that i'm personally using for my step one prep if you guys want that please let me know in the comment section below i'll make it soon but in today's video i'm just going to give you guys a glimpse of how my study process is and how my thought process is while i'm preparing for step one let me give you guys just a small glimpse of how i'm studying for my step one exam i usually like to uh, use something called the retrospective technique where I first solve questions and question banks without having studied the particular subject. I analyze how much I know, how much I don't and then go and start reading, right? So let me take you guys into my true learn question bank that I'm currently using to study for my step one. Please just ignore the scores and the amount of questions that I've taken because I'm in my pre-dedicated phase and I only solve these questions randomly before I start a particular system or start reading a particular subject just to know how much understanding I have of the topic right so what I usually do is I take a random test like this and then after I'm done with the test I will go and review the test and when you do this you have an option to either review all the questions or you can review only the questions that you got incorrect what I usually do is I review all questions because many times what happens is I would have just answered a question or an option based out of a gut feeling or maybe not really knowing the question but I would have just answered it right so how I do the review is basically I usually take around 25 to 30 or maximum 40 questions per day so I solve the entire uh, test and then I start reviewing. So for each question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the question and see if I got the answer right or wrong. I got the answer right here. So I look at the explanation and the first thing I try to do is to understand whether my thought process for arriving at this answer for the question is similar or same as the explanation that they have given. Now, why do I do this? Because so many times what happens is when I have answered a question right, it can be because I had the right thought process and I knew the concept well or it can also be because I just uh, answered the question based on pure memory without knowing any concepts. So the first thing I'm trying to do here is classify whether I knew this question conceptually well or whether I just answered this question based on memory. So this is what I'm going to do for questions that I've gotten right. Okay. So now let's say I did not get a question right like this answer i answered it wrong so my first step is going to be what is the reason i chose the wrong answer and not the right answer so again i'm going to look at my thought process why did i choose the particular answer and not the correct one i'm going to look at the explanation and i'm going to compare what lacunae i had in my thinking process right so the first thing that i'm going to do the next thing that i'm going to do is i am not only going to read the explanation for the right answer but i will also go and read the explanation for all the wrong answers let's look at this question a 46 year old man presents to the hospital with abdominal pain so one thing i love uh, that i can do here is i can highlight all the major features the patient has come with and all the 
So the age of the patient is important, what are the features that they have come with and they had a barbecue in an enclosed carriage while well, his oxygen saturation is 99% and then they have given all the stats and I have written this answer. So in this you can uh, divide your uh, concepts into two different categories right. So the first category is going to be purely memory based and the second category is going to be uh, places where you can actually use your concepts and your understanding of the subject and rule out options. The, so the first thing I want to do is see where my thought process should be going when I come across such questions. And the next thing I am going to do is I am going to look at all the wrong options as well. So whatever options that they had given, what is the explanation for those options? Why am I looking at that? So these options are usually going to be very similar to each other and they give confusing options. And the reason why they give this is because they want to know if your concept is very strong or not. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is go and look at all the wrong options that were there and see why these are wrong answers and how they are conceptually related to the question that they had asked. So how does this help? The first thing is, uh, it is going to help you understand how you can rule out options because they will give specific high yield topics in these explanation why you can rule out this in a question if you get a similar question in the future or it might also help you answer a question in the future if you have read this topic and you know the buzzword that they had used or the uh, concept that they had used uh, for this particular topic okay so this is how i'm using my question bank to understand uh, what I know what I don't know so after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my video resources or my learning resources that I have for step one and from there I will start uh, learning about the topics that I'm weak at or the topics that I absolutely have no idea about now why I love doing this process is because as you guys can see if you're going to give an exam first or a test first you will understand where your strong fields are and where your weak fields are so if you understand this what you can do is you can prioritize your time and focus more on your weak fields and give less time to your strong fields right so if you guys have been liking my video so far uh, i would just like to give a quick shout out to um, true learn that i have been absolutely loving uh, to use in my step one studies and that is the true learn question bank i basically use that question bank like i've already explained to you guys i just want to tell you guys a little features that i love about the question bank and that is um, creating quick tests where you can basically go and customize whatever topics you want to create tests from you can also choose between new questions used questions or if you just want to review things that you've already done you can go and choose only incorrect questions or you can go and choose mark questions so so many features are available on the true learn question bank so if you guys also want to check out true learn question bank you can go to the link in my description below and you will get a discount using my code as well and one more thing i love about true learn is that they will give you performance trackers where you can see um, uh, you know which subjects you're lacking in which subjects you're answering well and in which subjects you're not answering well they'll give you a comparison with the national average for example if you look at my medicine my national average the national average is 60 percent and i am getting around 55 percent so this is the amount i need to improve to be able to pass comfortably if you guys like the true learn question bank i absolutely love it and i have been using it extensively for my pre-dedicated period prep so if you guys also like true learn you can go to the link in my description below you'll get a free trial as well as a discount if you use my code and if you guys have already used it before, please do let me know how it is and what you guys like about it. So I will be posting videos about uh, my USMLE journey and maybe post some vlogs, how to study and all these kinds of videos regularly. So if you guys want to follow along and be a part of my journey, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll meet you guys in the next one.